The Observatory Forensic Pathology Institute is one of the busiest mortuaries in the Western Cape. In 2024, a staggering 4,800 bodies ended up here. What we have to remember is constantly that there are 9 to 10 percent of people who end up in unnatural deaths in our mortuaries who are never identified, which equates to somewhere around 10 thousand people a year across the country. Prof Gibbon works closely with the police and forensic pathology services. As a forensic anthropologist, her job is to identify human remains from crime scenes. I'm normally only called when they're skeletonized, decomposed, beyond the, the expertise of the pathologist. So in these cases, I get there and there's very little left to understand who this person was. Why is time since death so important? So time since death is really important because now we have this body, it's unidentified, we don't know who it is, it's skeletonized. So it's not just about who they were, but what were the circumstances that led them to become in this place? The weather, the environment and the scavengers all play a role. In 2014, PhD student Dr. Devon Finity from the University of Cape Town set up the first experiment in decomposition. Using case files from the mortuary, he found the Cape Flat student Strandfeld to be a hotspot for crime. He put up his cage with the pig carcass inside and waited. I arrived at my pig couple of days after I'd put them out and I saw pieces of them missing and I thought, something's eaten my pig. And I saw a little tunnel that had been dug under the cage. You can now access full episodes on DSTV Stream. Visit the DSTV website to find out how you can subscribe and get your carte blanche fix on the go.